Hey, I'm Tony K. Welcome to Transformation School. Today's lesson is Generations Voyager Class Skybite. If you want to skip to transformation from beast mode to robot mode, skip to 10 minutes and 44 seconds in the video. Let's get started. Right out of the box, he comes a little mistransformed. It displays well, but according to the official instructions, his wings should be pointing the other direction. If you read the comic book, you might recognize this as well, as this is an IDW design. I admit, I've only been reading the comic books that come with the figures. I have not read the books prior to the release of the Deluxe Class IDW Generations line. But I love the cartoons, and the movies, and the toys. So, we've got his wings up. Skybite has a couple of gimmicks. Uh, first off, this large gray button allows his tail arm to spin. And then, on one side of his tail arm, He's got a firing mechanism. And then finally, this blue claw and this gray claw are on hinges. Now for transformation to beast mode, also called alt mode. Let's take and put these wings back down. And I'll open them up wide, and that'll help clear them off the shoulders. Oh, um, I suppose also out of the box you'll want to pull these out for display, but tuck them back in for transformation. We're going to raise his arms. This is actually my second time filming this review. The first time uh, during transformation, this arm popped off and cracked. I can cut to that video. Uh, I see that there is a fin in here that uh, pushed against part of the body and caused that to come off. Is that a crack? Oh, yep. We have a break here. Right. Focus. See it? Let's see it? Okay. Let's get back to putting that on. There we go. Now, you want to rotate this so the fin is up. So this time around, we are going to uh, get this step in properly. With his arm still down at his side, rotate it so that this fin piece is pointing towards you. On his tail arm, he's got a tab here. If we do the same rotation on the other side so that this fin is now pointing towards you. Now on the top, there's a slot for this tab. And now, uh, on a hidden pivot point behind the shoulder, we can rotate the arm up. And let's try the same on the other side. We're not ready to tab this together yet. But now that we've got that in mind, we can move forward with our transformation. I'm going to bring the shark head down. I'm going to pull it away from the body. And it has a pivot point here, as well as at the base of the, the back of the head. I'm going to turn his robot head 180 degrees and then fold that forward and one more time it'll click down.
I'm going to continue working on his tail section. His uh, humanoid arm, the one with the hand, consists of three primary panels. There's a hinge here. Let's try to rotate on that hinge. So here's one, and there's a hinge here. That makes one panel, two panels, and three panels. His hand is on a hinge. We're going to rotate that hand in, and the fingers come through this opening. There's an L-shaped bracket with a pivot point at each end. We'll pivot on both points, collapsing this large blue section over the uh, bicep area. Now it looks like we can tab the two shoulders together. Let's try bringing these wings up that form the sides of the shark. And collapsing the legs, we're going to rotate the thigh towards the back of the body or the underside of the shark. And then we have another L-shaped bracket here, uh, pivot points at each end that are going to allow the lower leg to collapse in on the upper leg. Let's try that on the other side. L-shaped bracket. We've got a free at the knee. And now we can collapse the lower leg. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to rotate the lower leg towards the back of the robot, or the, let's say the underside of the shark. And now using that L-shaped bracket and both pivot points, rotate the lower leg over the upper leg. Move these wings, wings. Move these fins out of my way and try bringing the legs together. I'm going to fold the heel of the foot in to this cavity space, folding the toes towards the tail section. I've got a tab on one foot and a slot on the other foot. There's a open space in this side panel that was his wing and that his uh, fin will fit into. And I call it a wing. Doesn't mean that he could fly with it. Again, if you read the stories, you'll have a better understanding of his anatomy than just analyzing the toy. I've got a panel on the back of his shark body to flip over his I'm going to start tabbing things in along his back. Take this blue panel, tabbing it into the gray. This tab has caught this gray piece. Bring this gray piece out. There, tabbing this back in. I'm bringing the gray piece back in. Bad. Repeat on the other side. There we go. And his feet have come undone. And now connecting this blue panel that was his arm to this blue panel that was his wing. I've got two tabs on the, the arm panel, one tab on the wing panel that come together and repeat on the other side. Two on the arm panel, one on the wing panel. And now he's got a little motion here. 
as this was his elbow in robot mode, but now it gives his tail some animation. And he still has the spinning effect and the firing effect. And then in beast mode, you can open his mouth and close his mouth. Here we have Skybite in beast mode, aka alt mode. Let's transform this guy back into robot mode. Let's untab this section. And then free the wings. Now open this up and move it off to the side. Next, let's free the legs. I'm going to split the bottom jaw, separate the feet, extend the leg, extend the other leg. Move these wings out of my way. Move the head up a bit, fold this blue flap in, I'm going to bring the shark head up, I think I'll finish transforming the shark head all the way up, reveal the Predacon insignia. and. This tab here fits over the shin bone, the kneecap, straighten the foot, we'll bring the arms down. Let's see. I've got to pivot this forearm on this joint. It doesn't tab into anything though. I'll bring the hand out. And then fold the forearm. Fold it at one panel and two panels. Rotate the arm down so that the spin is outside the shoulder. Bring the other arm down. Rotate. Turn his head towards me. And fold his wings up. I'm going to pivot on this hinge to keep them off of his body. Rotate them up a little. This pivot point. Ah, here, see this is that same fin. It's getting caught up on this hinge now, on this piece. When uh, we popped it off before, it got caught on this piece back here. So this this little section is causing problems. If you haven't snapped your arm off already, hopefully my mistake will save you from doing the same. We'll pull these fins out. Here we have Generation Skybite in robot mode. Let's see him 
for comparison next to his casemate, Generations Roadbuster. That's it for today's lesson. Class dismissed.